All right, guys, welcome back. This is section 4.3. Make sure you have your fill in the blank notes ready and available so that way you can fill them out while you're listening to this video. Remember, you have to upload them to Canvas and then you get a grade for them. So let's go ahead and look at this one. This is other bases. I can promise you that this section is actually easier than the last section. So that should make some of you guys happy. Because if you can get through the Babylonians, this is actually the same process. It's just we don't have to take an additional step to make our values that we get turn into symbols. So in our modern society, we use other bases besides base 10 to compute things. If you love computers and know how they work, you may have heard of the word binary system or hexadecimal systems enumeration. And if you have, then you may even know what that means. But in this section, we're going to increase our understanding of how to convert to and from these systems as well as other systems. So let's look at part one, bases below base 10. So uh, we're talking about bases such as base 7, base 6, base 5, base 4, base 3, base 2, etc. So the first objective is we're going to be converting from our system to a base under base 10. So we're going from our system to theirs. Um, so the same rules apply that you learned for section 4.2. If we're going to our system, so we're going from theirs to ours, we're going to be multiplying. Okay, which is good because multiplying is actually easier. So if we're going to our system, we multiply. Okay, so this first example says convert 6053 base 7 to base 10. So the subscript, that little teeny tiny 7, that's called a subscript, uh, means that's the base that we're starting in. So we're starting in base 7. Okay. So what I do to handle these is I go ahead and write this out as 6053. I notice I have four digits. So I know that I have seven to the zero, that's going to be the ones place. Plus I know I have seven to the first power. Plus I know I have seven to the second power. Plus I know I have seven to the third power, okay? Um, and I know that once again, because I'm in base seven. So if you remember anything raised to the zero power is one. So this is actually three times one. And let me make that one a little better because it's looking messy. So three times one is three. Okay, let's do the next one up. Seven to the first is seven. So five times seven is 35 plus zero times seven to the second, seven to the second is 49, but it doesn't matter because anything times zero is zero. And moving up to the next one, we have seven to the third power. So seven to the third power is 343, and then we're gonna multiply that by six. So if you have your calculators out, which you're going to need it for this section, make sure you have them out. I'm going to take six times 343, and six times 343 is 2,058. Okay, so if I add 2,058 plus 35 plus 3, I get 2,096. And that is what 6053 base 7 is equal to in our system. So once again, if you're going to our system, you multiply. Okay, let's look at another example. So this next example says to convert 110010 base two to base 10. So once again, I'm in base two. All right, so I'm gonna write these digits out, spreading them out so I have room to write. Okay, I got that done. And now I'm gonna start uh, multiplying it by the base positional values. So the zero at the very, very right of this value is going to be zero times two to the zero power plus, now moving over, I have one times two to the first plus zero times two to the second plus zero times two to the third plus one 
times 2 to the 4th plus 1 times 2 to the 5th. Okay, and now I just have to go through and multiply each one. So 2 to the 5th is 32. Uh, so I'm going to take 32 and multiply that by 1. So 1 times 32 is 32. Plus... 2 to the 4th is 16, so 1 times 16 is 16, plus 0 times 8, because 2 to the 3rd is 8, is just 0, plus 0 times 2 to the 2nd, which is 4, is 0. Let me make that clear. Plus 1 times 2 is 2. And 0 times 1 is 0. So I have 32 plus 16 plus 2, basically. So 32 plus 16 plus 2 will give me a grand total of 32 plus 18, which is 50. Okay, so that's my answer. My answer is 50. All right, so that's what base 2 one one zero zero one zero base two is in base ten in our system, and by the way, base two has a special name. It's called binary. So this is base two, and binary the word uh, prefix bi means two. So binary system is base two. That's why I don't know if you guys saw the matrix before, and all those ones and zeros are on the screen and kind of like fall down over across the screen, um, basically it's showing that you're going into the matrix. So you're going in the binary system. Uh, in electricity, they use binary because you have either on or off when you go through a circuit. So one is on and zero is off. Uh, your computers work that way too. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this next example. This says to convert 101010 base 2 or binary to base 10. So so we get used to seeing that. So binary is base 2. That's what base we're in. So once again, I just sorry about that. I just stretch out the numbers, uh, make sure that I have room and make sure I have them all accounted for. So I have 101010. Yep. And now I start writing them out. So 0 times 2 to the 0. 1 times 2 to the 1st. Put a plus sign in between. 0 times 2 to the 2nd. Plus 1 times 2 to the 3rd. Plus 0 times 2 to the 4th. Plus 1 times 2 to the 5th. And now I write this out. So this becomes 1 times 32 plus 0 times 16, plus 1 times 8, plus 0 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus 0 times 1. Okay, let's figure this out. 1 times 32 is 32, plus 0 times 16 is 0, 1 times 8 is 8, plus 0 times 4 is 0, plus 1 times 2 is 2, plus 0 times 1 is 0. And now I just basically have to add 32 plus 8 plus 2. And if I add those up, I should get the grand total of 42. Okay, so let me go ahead and highlight that. All right. So now we have to look at this next example. It says convert 3782 base 8 to base 10. So I know I'm in base 8. So let me make myself a little reminder there. And once again, stretch the numbers out and then start working on it. So if it's base 8, I get 2 times 8 to the 0 plus. 8 times 8 to the first power plus 7 times 8 to the second power plus 3 times 8 to the third power. Now all I have to do is convert these over. 
So this first one becomes 3 times 8 to the third. 8 to the third is 512 plus 7 times 8 squared is 64 plus 8 times 8 to the first is 8 times 8 plus 2 times 1 because 8 to the 0 is 1. Okay, so 3 times 512 is 1,000. 536 plus 7 times 64 is 448 plus 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2. And when I add those up together on my calculator, I get 2050. So 10, 10, 10, 10 base 2 and base 10 is 2050. All right. So hopefully you're understanding this. If you're not, go back through and watch the video again. I just think sometimes repetition, you know, is key to understanding. Okie dokie. Let's look at the next one. This is actually objective number two. So uh, this whole section, by the way, uh, 4.3 is going to be broken up in two videos. So this part, I'm going to go over objective two, and then I'm going to stop uh, and do a new video for part two. So objective two is converting from base 10 to a base below base 10. So if we're going from our system to theirs, it's more difficult. So when it's more difficult, we're going to have to divide. So we're going to use that process that we saw with the Babylonians, where we're going to have to write out the base system first and find the closest positional value that will go into our, our number that we're looking at. And then remember, we have to go until we hit the um, base one or the ones position. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. It says convert 23, which is ours, to base three. So if we're going from ours to theirs, so we have to divide. So that means I need to write this out. 3 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 1st is 3, 3 to the 2nd is 9, 3 to the 3rd, not the 4th, 3 to the 3rd is 27, and if I look, I have 23, so 27 is too big. So I know I have my starting place. I'm going to start right here with 3 to the 2nd, which equals 9, so this is starting point. Okay, so I'm going to start here. So I take 23 and I divide it by 9 because remember we're starting with 3 to the second. So 9 goes into 23 twice. So 9 times 2 is 18 and 23 minus 18 will give me 5. Okay, so I'm going to bring that remainder and put a division sign over it. Remember I have to drop down to 3 to the first. 3 to the first is 3. 3 goes into 5 one time. Okay, so uh, 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract that, I get 2. So let me highlight what I've got so far. I got a 2 and I got a 1. So now I'm just going to put a little arrow that I'm going over to the side here and going up. I have to take the remainder, which is 2, and I'm going to divide it into 3 to the 0, which is 1. Okay, so 2 divided by 1 is 2. So I have the value 2, 1, 2. Okay, I'm gonna write that down, 2, 1, 2. Now I have to let everybody know that I'm in base three, and I do that by doing the subscript three just to show that I'm in base three when I'm not in the Hindu Arabic base. All right, let's do convert 22 to base three. So once again, we are going to write out our values. So let me put a little line here just to denote I'm on this next one. So I have 3 to the 0, that's 1. 3 to the 1st, that's 3. 3 to the 2nd, that's 9. Okay, 3 to the 3rd, that's 27, that's too big. I have to start in the same place I started with the last one. 3 to the 2nd, which is 9. Okay, so I'm going to take 22, divide it by 9. And remember, this is 3 to the 2nd. So 22 or 23 divided by, or sorry, 22 divided by 9, uh, it's 2. So 9 times 2 is 18. 22 less 18 is 4. 
So now I drop down to 3 to the first. I take the remainder and divide it by 3. 3 goes into 4 once. Okay, and I'm going to get a remainder of 1. Okay, so I have to drop down to 3 to the 0. 3 to the 0 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So let me highlight what I got here. I got a 2, I got a 1, and I got a 1. So I put that together. 2, 11, base, 3. Okay, so that's how you do this one. Like I said, easier in the Babylonians because I don't have to convert over those values into uh, spikes and boomerangs. Okay, let's look at the next page. I'm just going to do this next example, and then uh, we'll do part two in the next video. So convert 22 to binary. Okay, I'm going from our system to theirs. So I know that I'm going to have to divide because going to theirs is harder. And binary, I know, is base 2. So I'm going to put these over here. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1st is 2. 2 to the 2nd is 4. 2 to the 3rd is 8. Okay? 2 to the 4th equals 16. Let's keep on going. Uh, 2 to the 5th is 32. Oh, too big. So I know I have to start at 2 to the 4th. So I'm going to take 22. I'm going to divide it by 16. Remember, that's 2 to the 4th power. Uh, and when I do that, I get 1. So 16 times 1 is 16. 22 less 16 is 6. Okay. So I'm going to take that value, and I'm going to place it underneath the division sign, and I'm going to drop to the next base system, which is 2 to the 3rd. 2 to the 3rd, by the way, is 8. 6 is too small, so I'm going to have to put a 0 here and drop down to the next base value. So I get a remainder of 6. So 6 is going to go under the division sign, and I have to drop to 2 to the 2nd. So 2 to the 2nd is 4. Now that works because 6 is bigger than 4. So 4 goes into 6 once. Uh, if we subtract, we get 2. So 2 goes under the division sign. I drop down to 2 to the first. So 2 goes into 2 once. Uh, the remainder is 0. And I have to take that 0, and I guess I'll put a little arrow up here, and divide it by 2 to the 0, which is 1. So 1 goes into 0 one time, or 0 times, I'm sorry. Okay, so what's my value here? I'm going to highlight them. I got a 1, a 0, a 1, a 1, and then a 0, okay, because this was 2 to the 0 power. All right, so in that order. So I got 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2, which is binary. Okay, so that's that, and we just got our value here. And you can check them, by the way, by converting it back over to our base to make sure you got the right answer. Um, so that's the end of part one's video. Uh, please make sure you watch part two to get the rest of this, uh, which is converting to and from bases larger than base 10.